Do you remember the um, first um, place you ever watched Maggie Smith ever? Wow. Um, I probably don't remember when I did because she was making movies well yeah. before I was born. Yeah. And she's just been, been around a minute. It's like I've never known a time when Maggie Smith wasn't around. Yeah. So I can't. I don't know. The first time I ever saw Maggie Smith act in anything, but I do know, and I think this would be true of her career. She didn't become globally known until Harry Potter. Yeah. Well, outside of the industry, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I mine was Hook. Oh, she played Old Wendy. Yeah, in Hook. That's right. And uh, when Peter returned, she says, "Hello, boy." And so there were memes about how mm. she re she goes up to heaven and Robin's there said hello girl yeah and she goes up. I really as somebody funny. pointed out a stupid baby because I had posted about the passing of our kitty cat Pippa yeah. and they they she, it, she passed away in the same evening as as Maggie and pointed out that that's the animal that she turns into that is in Harry Potter that she is. turns into cats she does yeah that was her uh, Patronus if that's you will. right that's right. Uh, I like that. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex Report. I am Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, more juicy content. Juicy content. Juicy content. Juicy content. Follow us on Twitter. Chat, chat, chat. Hit that like button. <laughs> wow. Uh, today we got an old trailer of a non-bar film, a VJ Satipathy hey. uh, film uh, in Karthik. I believe this is one of his films, Karthik Subaraj. Okay. And it's called... It's called... Arari. Arari. Yeah. Uh, this is a trailer Arari. of Karthik Subaraj's older movie called... Arari. Uh, which means the goddess. Goddess. Uh, the music composition is by Santosh Narayan, mm -hmm. who is also uh, called Sana. Sana. And it's Vijay Satipathy. Oh, that's an All right. Name. Um, bring it on. Bring Let's it on see. like Donkey Kong. How, how old? How, how far back? Uh, the trailer came out eight years ago, so maybe, All right. I don't know if the film is exactly eight years. Uh, but, but it's in that ballpark. It's at least that range. 2016, right. so that would be eight years, right? Or does this have SG Studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah SG years. Studio again. Yep. Okay, here we go. Wow! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Terinja <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, super. Mm. Solo da. Yes. <laughs> Looks wild. It does. I'm a super Wait, hey, <laughs> nice. said it. That it, looks wild. It does look wild. Uh, I mean, Karthik Subaraj is kind of that kind of director, though. Um, he does like to do very different things. Um, but I liked it. I think it, like, I mean, it, it was a little dated stuff and maybe obviously dated, maybe low budget yeah, stuff, for, obviously. Forgivably low budget. Um, because I imagine he probably didn't have the budget he has now, obviously, because right. this is more towards the beginning of his career, towards pizza, probably. Right. Yeah, so pizza was his first, and so that was 2012, so it was a few years after. Um, 
but then you get like Peta, which obviously the budgets go way up yeah. with uh, when we saw the uh, yeah when that one. Um, but so what's the deal, it? stupid babies? Let's Those of you who've see. seen it, okay. So uh, first featured it was pizza, feature length was and pizza. Then Jigger Thonda, right? Uh, and then Bench Talkies. We've now seen that one, and then this one. So this would be his fourth feature. Um, Mercury Peta. Um, Jigger Thunder Double X. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he he kind of has a certain, especially as his career has gone. I've heard a lot about this one. I think this is Vikram. Mahan. Mahan. I've heard about that one as well. That's a Vikram uh, 2022 film. Um, but he kind of has like, it's almost like edgy kind of also weird kind of vibe. Yeah, kind of like a... A splash of Quentin yeah. and a splash of Wes Anderson. Not the aesthetic, but the storytelling. Yeah. And right? I, th I, is he the one that, I mean, how can you know as a filmmaker, especially if you're in like the uh, gangster or something genre, um, be a fan of Quentin as a director. Yeah. But I, there was one, I don't know if it was him or another Tamil director that was like a big fan of Quentin. Of Quentin. Uh, I yeah. think it was him. I don't know how you can't be. I think because Jigathonda Double X, I think, had a lot of like, homages and so did uh, some of his other stuff that we've seen i think yeah um i i don't know how you can as a director especially of that style of genre exactly uh maybe as a rom-com director maybe not right <laughs> or musicals <laughs> yeah <laughs> but like in like this genre yeah he, I mean, of the modern century i mean there's like there's almost nobody better uh agreed in that especially as consistent uh just from... consistently fun unpredictable uh, um Especially as a writer. Yeah. My favorite of his is probably Peta, though. Of the, what have we seen? I, me One, too. One, two. So uh, more, seen, than, so we, more than double X? No, so we've seen Pizza, Jigger Thunder, and Peta, and then double X, right? Those are the, the yeah. four we've seen. Do you like Peta more than double X? Uh, I, as a whole, I, I enjoyed it more. I did enjoy double X a lot. Yeah. Uh, and I think probably... Filmmaking wise, artistically, it might be better. right. That's why I was questioning because yeah. the, the the cinematography on that is yeah, absolutely. Is, is that would definitely be number two um, uh, in terms of, but in terms of and just like how much fight sequence, fun and entertaining, uh, Peta was. Yeah, they're both great. Uh, I probably Enjoyed put both Peta at the top, but uh, artistically, I could I absolutely see why people would say Jigger Thonda. Uh, it might be some of his best work. Um, I mean, that, I mean, so it's a lot of hope in uh, Studio 44 here. Mm -hmm. um, when does that come out? Is it next year? But Probably. Mahan is one I've heard of. Like, so you guys have to let us know, like, what's the next one we should do? Uh, uh, June 4th of 2024. I don't think so. Oh, no. filming. Filming. Okay. Yeah. It's filming okay. right now. All right. Um, is it horror? No. Okay. It looked kind of horror-ish. Yeah, the, the thumbnail does. Uh, has no. he gone back to horror? Joju George. Nice. Has he gone back to horror? I hope at so. all because obviously pizza was even though we didn't enjoy it it was a it was a horror and that was his first really should especially if i mean uh in addition to the fact that the horror comedies do well but this is dominant they, so. they, well they they re-released tumbad and it did really well yeah so yeah and i know um Donald does have some um horrors that i know a lot of people have recommended um the Demote Colony or something like that uh, is one because the sequel came out um, not too long ago. But the first one was highly praised. We just watched a really good one recently. Uh, it's got a – I don't like the title. It's called Sister Death. <laughs> but it's it's a very um, Mike Flanagan type of storytelling, mm. uh, which always – if you're not familiar with Flanagan, Flanagan always has you – in many respects, becoming empathetic with the ghosts mm -hmm. um, and realizing that a lot of the reasons they haunt aren't just for shallow reasons. There's always deep, personal, often revelatory things that take place. And so, yeah, yeah that kind of storytelling is just, it's a great template and Flanagan does it so well. And this movie, Sister Death, does it as well. It's about this girl who's a nun in uh, this Italian a convent hmm. and there's a lot of weird stuff that has gone on at the convent and she can pick up on a lot of it and some of the girls that are there pick up on it and you don't know really what's going on but it does what to me great horror films do is that it takes a story and uses it as a metaphor for bigger human 
interest and problems and stories. Yeah. And do you and watch that new horror that's out right now? What is it called? I want to. What's it called? Um, it starts with an S, right? Yeah. Um, dang it. I don't remember. I don't want. I want yeah, to see. I, have, uh, I, have, I also want to see have, uh, uh, Demi Moore's. That's a, that's body horror. Uh, her her film. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, substance. Yeah, that's what I'm that's talking it. about. Substance. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, I've had friends who've watched it. And it's actually one of their favorite horrors of all time now. Yeah, I want to see. I, we, um, we, I may go. I may take Andrani soon to that because we like horror, and I've heard good things about and this. And October's coming up on Tuesday. Yep. Good. Can't wait. Um, so excited. Anyways, let us know about this film or, or, or which will be our next Karthik Subaraj yeah. uh, film that we should watch. Let us know down below. Josh!